Hey guys, welcome back to the Ski Channel, Swift Coding for Everyone. I'm Sainar Edwards, and we're going to continue on in our guided project light. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to create an IB outlet for the button, so that way we can reference our button in code, and we can manipulate the text and other things if needed. We're also going to update some of the user experiences for this simple app, okay? I'm going to start off by doing something I should have done in video two, which is creating an update UI function. So that way, you know, we don't have, you know, a whole lot of code in our button tapped uh, method. And it's also easier and cleaner, uh, you, you know, to keep up by separating it into a different function of its own. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'll say func, I'm going to say update UI parentheses and we'll just command X out of here and then command V in here all right easy as that and now what you want to do is you just put your call you'll call the function by just typing it in there update UI and the button tap so now you get the same effect it's just a little bit cleaner okay so in this lesson, like I said, we're going to create an IB outlet for our button so we can reference it in our code. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. So go back to main.storyboard and bring up the assistant editor. And we will drag, make some space if you need to. Go ahead and drag, control, click and drag, or right click and drag to the view controller. And we'll, and we'll keep it as outlet and we'll just say like button. We'll give it a name, this variable name of like button. We'll hit connect. Go back to the view controller file. And as you can see, the circle is gray. We got the at IB, out, IB outlet um, statement, weak var like button, and it's a type UI button. All right, so we got that connected, good. So one of the things we want to do is we want to make sure we are able to we're able to set the title because when the app starts, you know, the background's already white. So we want the label to say off. And and when it's off, when the screen is black, we want the label, we want the title to say, you know, on, you know, just like a you know, a light switch, on and off. All right. So what we need to do is we need to look up some documentation, right? So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So you can go to documentation. Remember, you can just you can option and click on this UI button, and you can go down here to class reference. Uh, you can do that. Uh, you can go to window, and you can go to de or developer documentation or command shift zero. And the same thing from the help menu. It'll be command shift and zero as well. Developer documentation. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do that. Pull this up, and we'll search for. UI button and we're going to look for a way to set the title so go ahead and select it remember scroll down or click on topics that way it'll scroll down for us we want to set the title right uh, there you go set title string it's the parameter one of the first parameters and it's just the text for the string and then we got the UI control state so we'll click on this this is what we want set title and yep so the first one is the string and then the second one is the control state all right and so we'll click on that to see all right yeah so let's click on ui control state so we know this is the function definitely the function that we want and ui control state says that it can have more than one state at a time controls can be configured differently based on their state UI button object can be configured to display one image when it's normal state and a different image when it's highlighted. When I worry about images right now, yeah, this is what we want. So we want control state, yeah, normal. The normal or default state of a control that is enabled but neither selected nor highlighted. So it could be sitting there idle. So we want to make sure that we use the normal in the control state, okay? So we'll X out of this. And what we'll do is, is we'll update our UI function. So we'll go down here and we'll say um, 
we'll call a light button, right? Light button dot set title. There we go. There it is. Set title for it. So we want it to say off, right? So make sure you do your so make sure you do your uh, quotation marks and we'll say off and then we'll say dot normal for the control state for here, right? And then we'll also do the same thing uh, for the uh, for the else statement for the uh, black background, but you know we wanted to say on. So light button dot set title. We want it to be on dot normal. All right, there we go. So now what we can do is we can command R this project, and we can run this again to see to see the updates let's click on our button now see what we get so on while the while the lights off right that's correct and off when it's off but I noticed something we have a bit of a small bug so when the app first starts up the title label is just still says button so we want to fix that because that's a little odd you know we don't want that to happen so what can we do to fix that? Where will we put code? Say again. That's right. You gotta add code to the view did load. All you gotta do is call the update UI here in the view did load. And so, so all of this will happen up there too. So what we'll do is to see if it worked, we'll do command R. So now, when the app loads up this time, instead of saying button, it should say off because the background is going to be white. It's going to be on already. So let's see. Yep, it worked. There we go. So hit the off button. It's off. Now we need to be back on. There we go. All right, cool. That worked. All right. So, you know, you think about something. You. you you know, you got this going on and you're thinking, you, you know, how can you make this better? How can you make this uh, better for the overall user experience? Well, first of all, it's kind of weird to have, you know, this huge device, you know, in somebody's hand, you know, this iPhone, you know, whatever the case may be. But they can only hit one tiny little button, you know, to interact with the app. Um, so wouldn't it be a little bit better if that button covered the full screen? And do you really need the you know, the label after all, you know, the, the on and off is kind of, you know, it's kind of already, you know, a given that, you know, lights on and lights off. Right. So, so we'll update that. So what we're, what we'll do first is we'll go back to the main dot storyboard file and on the interface builder, what we'll do is, is we'll stretch the corners, uh, all four corners to make sure it reaches all four corners of our, of our screen. So that's there. Go over here. And then we'll drag it down all the way to the bottom. So there we go. See all blue everywhere. You see just like that, you can release. And we will get rid of the button uh, title because we don't need to see that anymore. All right, now we can get rid of the, the label uh, the uh, the uh, reference to that in code altogether. So what we'll do is is now we can go over to the connections inspector, and you see how you see how there's a reference for the light button, right? So since we don't need it anymore, since we don't need uh, to you know to reference the the title update, what we're first going to do is we're going to get rid of the connection, and we're going to hit X over here on our in our storyboard or in our connections inspector all right so that's that and what we'll do is in code over back in our view controller you see that the circle's not filled in anymore it's because it's not connected we just disconnected it so we'll get rid of this go ahead and delete that now it's safe to do so and we're also going to get rid of it down here in our update ui all right Get rid of it both places. And we'll just make sure um, that it's still running like it's supposed to, to do. So we'll rerun it. All 
All right, screen's white, it's on, off. On, off, cool. All right, one last thing you can do. Sen technically, since, you know, both of these, um, you know, this if else statement can be cleaned up and both of them, they basically change the color of the screen, right? So we can get rid of, you know, these, you know, a few lines of code, you know, five or six lines of code, you know, all in the one by using, using a ternary, right? So we'll use a ternary operator. So we'll get rid of this, you know, so make sure you're deleting and, and the way you can tell, you know, what all belongs to the if else statement, you know, one of the ways you can do is, you know, you can set your cursor to either side of the curly brace and you can just go uh, left and right or right and left on your, um, using your arrows. And we know that, you know, this is the end and also the way how it's lined up. You know, this is the if it starts here. And if you just draw like a straight line, you know, this belongs to it. And obviously this straight line, you know, from here, from the function there, you know, this is, you know, it belongs to this curly brace. So we don't want to delete that one. We want to make sure we just delete all of this right here. So delete that. And so what we do is we'll say, uh, we need to say view dot background color equals We'll say if the light is on, question mark, we want to change it to dot white. And then if not, we want to change it to dot black. Change the background to dot black. All right. So let's see if that works. Command R, your project again. We'll test this bad boy out one last time. Let's see. All right. So tap it anywhere on the screen. Let's see. Voila, it worked. Cool. So, you know, without knowing, you know, so much about the Swift programming language, you know, you just did some some very cool things. Um, you know, you created some IB outlets and actions. Uh, you did a couple, used a couple functions, uh, creating variables. Uh, being able to access a documentation. Those are all very, very big things. And, you know, it's just, it's just up from here. So congratulations uh, to making it this far in the app and a very, very special congratulations if you actually completed it on your own just by reading and doing and just having that faith within yourself. Uh, thank you for joining me again and we'll see you in the next lessons. Take care.